in science there are a lot of possibilities. By doing this research we are able to tackle at least one problem that we as mankind have created. I think it's, it's the only way forward if we want to have a livable planet. That's why it's really important to me. Currently there's so much textile waste. More than 80% of it is being brought to landfills or, or is being incinerated. It's one garbage truck full of textile waste every second. Most of this textile waste is what we call polycotton. 50 million tons per year of this material. That is a huge source if you can use the cotton part and the polyester parts to make virgin quality plastics out of it. That's what we are now trying to, uh, to develop. Polycotton, the name already says it, it's made from polyester and from cotton. They're very closely intertwined with one another and that makes it very difficult to fully separate them. Now a large part of the recycling is done mechanically, so they tear up the fibers and they break it down. But then you always go down in quality of your material. And if you really want to recycle it and not downcycle it, you want to reuse both components to the fullest. That's why we designed this technique to chemically recycle it. We put all these uh, textile in a reactor and then with hydrochloric acid we wash out the cotton as glucose. And then the residue in the reactor is polyester. In this case, because we break down the two components, we can make very high quality products again. As if it is new, as if it has not been recycled. You can clearly see that it's only polyester. Yeah. These streams can also be used to replace materials that we currently make from oil. The cotton we convert into glucose, and the glucose can be used for many different polymers. We can make biopolyethylene, polylactic acid is currently a big uh, bio-based uh, material. Avantium is developing a new plastic called PEF. It's made from glucose. The amount of waste is so large, 50 million tons per year polycotton waste, that we can make an incredible amount of plastic out of this waste. It's like killing two birds with one stone. It's really a win-win. And that feels, that feels really good, that feels really positive. I do have hope for the future, but when I look at the world around us and the changes that we have seen in the last years, then um, that, that sometimes makes me more concerned. There's a lot of question about commitment to climate, commitment to the Paris Agreement. If that is more and more abandoned and people go for the cheap fossil, then, um, then, then we're not going to get there. That's why I think it's so important to have a viable business case. Because the viable business case will be independent from governmental decisions to invest in this transition. And that's why I think this case is, uh, is so exciting. The recycling method that we've created is a cure to a disease, but we need to tackle the disease before it happens. The concern of the consumer about environment and climate is increasing. That's only going to help. When I tell this to friends and family or when I'm at a conference and I tell people what I do, everyone's always really stoked and really hyped about what we do and that really makes me think, oh yeah, what I'm doing is not just a thing or just a PhD, it, it really contributes to the bigger part. I definitely feel proud.